I'd like to explain the freshwater systems in our habitats. Our habitats have a what we call a city water inlet. Um, you get a potable water hose, which are those white hoses you see, and it's a simple garden hose connection. And at your house or if your campsite is equipped, there's water 10 feet away or so, and you attach that, and that's providing the water pressure for your sink and your exterior shower, which is up there. If you're camping off the grid, it's a different method. You come back here to the freshwater tank fill, which is sized to fit a hose in. Again, a potable water hose will fill this in, or if that's not convenient, or if you're at a campsite, you can get something like a NATO can and glug, glug, glug that water in there. You'll know the tank is full when uh, there's a valve up here that burps and water starts falling on the ground. There's 20 gallons of fresh water for camping off the grid. Your fresh water tank is located under your habitat um, and it has a valve to empty it. When you're using your habitat's uh, water system, your sink and shower drain into the gray water tank. You'll know when that tank is full when your sink or shower stops draining and it's time to empty it. You come out to the outside of your trailer, there's a little sticker here telling you where it is. Um, there are many ways to empty a gray water tank. We provide a connection that allows you to attach any garden hose. Um, depending on where you are camped, there might be a drain right at your campsite, um, or you can dump this into an RV dump station, or there are many products on the market that make a, a portable rolling tank, so you can, be, you can keep your trailer where it is and empty your water tank over and over again. Once you've attached the hose and you want to drain it, you pull this valve out, and that starts the draining. To use your exterior shower, you take your shower wand and hose, you open this door, there's a quick disconnect fitting here. You push it in the center until you hear a click. If you're attached to city water at your campsite, you already have water pressure. If you're boondocking or off the grid, you need to turn on the 12 volt water pump inside. But after that, you have hot and cold water. You can turn on and off the water here too. When you're done showering, you push in the center ring pull out the connector. Before you store this inside, it might be full of water, so make sure to drain it. Sometimes you have to flip the valve on your shower wand. I should say, if you want hot water, you need to turn on your hot water heater in advance.